Tara est de retour à Guayaquil pour décharger les échantillons. Le bateau est attendu de pied ferme par Rainer et Steffi, responsables des opérations. I'm the project coordinator for all the samples. I take care about um, the treasure of Tara, meaning I have to take care about the packing, unloading the samples from Tara. <laughs> Normally we are we have a we have a, a equal loading line, you know. <laughs> so Ça commence à monter à 13h, mais elle sera haute vers 4h je pense. The main important thing is the three different kind of temperatures. Room temperature, 2 to 8 degrees and frozen. So that's the uh, water samples 2 to 8 degrees and I have to be very quick otherwise the coldness out of the container evaporates very quickly. Always in stress but everything is fine. the fridge and uh, pack the plus 4 degree stuff. I, I am working for Eric Carcenti since 10 years. I work very close with World Korea to, to organize the shipping, which is a tr tremendous work in terms of paperwork and, and customs and so on. Even when you pre prepare all the documents, when you organize all the structure of unloading the samples, I start about three months ago. Whenever you finally arrive in a port, everything is totally different. As soon as soon the samples are um, documented and loaded in the aircraft, they go straight to Frankfurt and uh, ship them finally to Evry. Then we go to Roscoff, to Barcelona, to Banyuls, Marseille, Villefranche, Tucson, Arizona, to Matt Sullivan and to Maine, to Mike Siraki. When the boat is unloaded, we can start with the loading of the material and in, in general we have about two tons of material to load onto Tara. You are finished very late at night, it's very intense and uh, it's very physical work. I, yesterday I felt like having run a marathon uh, after uh, unpacking all the boxes. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of stress, but um... I'm quite positive that until the end, next year in March, everything is, everything is done and handled for 100%.